Mic check, mic check, mic check, mic check. Checking to make sure everything is Gucci. How you guys doing today? It's Friday. Markets are probably just going to head down. There's probably not going to be a lot of setups today, to be honest with you guys. Um, we got the, the huge liquidation of this zone here that we've been looking at for a while now. For a while. Um, so, that's interesting. I don't know what to think of that now. Um, now we finally swept this whole range. So I guess I'm, you know, we got to be looking for zones, but honestly, we could have, you know, a prolonged period down here, you know, for a few months. So, um, you know, I don't know. It's probably just going to continue to the downside and we got to wait for some structure now. Um, Yesterday, I guess I want to make a video. Fortunately, still haven't gotten in the office space, but it's going to be, uh, you know, by May 1st, we're going to be in there, definitely. And uh, make a video like the FIB sequence, working out perfectly here, swing high to swing low. You could have got this entry. Uh, you know, if I was trading a MetaTrader off my phone, probably would have took it, but it's unfortunate, man, that I didn't see these because the FIB, it was bouncing for a while. It was pretty nice. But I didn't look at the charts yesterday at all after getting off my live stream. Uh, and then we got a four-hour a four-hour zone here. Nice and balanced. Little order block. Nothing crazy, but... Um, I'll delete it for now just so we can see what's going on. But, yeah, just coming down heavy and... Wow, we, t we timed the top of 230. That's just fucking insane, dude. We could have passed the challenge with a five lot. We literally timed the top up here. Like, to the to the 10 pips. 10 pips, we timed the top on this short yesterday. And I had no take profit because I was expecting a crazy move. So I had no take profit. And we would have been, you know, rolling for uh, just, just the whole fucking the whole fucking challenge would have been done at 200 pips, so. <coughs> <coughs> top one, tra top one trader really owes me a fucking, uh, fresh, like a fucking phase two at this point. This fucking, they, they fucked me over so many times now, it's countless. Ugh, the first challenge, they fucked me over. They didn't get me in a trade. They said there were, it was just like this one, basically, imagine it. And there was a wick that got me in on every other broker and then no wick on their charting software and they didn't get me in and it was the same move as this. Fucking, they just don't want you to be profitable. They don't want you in the trade really. That's what it comes down to, so. But everything's textbooked here, here man. We got range, liquidation of, of, you know, both sides of the range, both stop losses before coming down here. For the actual move. Same thing with Euro. Nice fib touch. Absolute sniper entry. Um, obviously we didn't take it. But I wish I did. But I didn't look at the charts at all yesterday. So. Um, but yeah. In hindsight's very clean. Yeah, I mean you know. Unless you're playing the one minute today, there's not going to be a lot of structure for uh, for people here. We'll go ahead and analyze some crypto today as well.
much long should I put? Let's put some Peaky Blinders music to this. Let's do some radio head. Second, when I blow my nose. Oh, what's up, man? I'll be with you in a second. Just let me know. Drop a comment what you want me to go over. Just gotta blow my nose real quick. Don't want to be all sniffly. Forex uh, or crypto, brother, or gold, or whatever. As you guys know, I haven't really been feeling too well. Oh, no, he doesn't care. This guy doesn't care. Um, been sick. Been sick for a little bit now. One minute time frame, there's not much here for us. That's actually insane. Gold liquidated this order block perfectly. I to the T, man. Where's that kid that asked about gold? That's huge. Yes, Algrand, please come up. Just looking alright. Looking alright at this resistance. Let's go to the next resistance, baby. See though, like yeah, not looking so great. Cross that line again.
does it say the previous zero and then on here it says the previous two revised from zero man forks factory is really like are they getting paid to do that like i've seen numbers get edited after the news comes out too like the previous ones so that's manipulation that's like tinkering the fucking some clean expansion from yesterday oh yeah wow got the higher time frame break and it just kept going up here If we come up uh, right now, it's probably not going to be for long, is it? I mean, unless we're going to go take all this out today. But that would honestly be a good thing if we came up and took all this out today. Because then we could get our change of character for next week for uh, upside. Get that all out of the way instead of bouncing around without any breaks. And uh, you know, we'll probably see continuation. We already just bounced the fib level, so I really can't like do it again, but sometimes it keeps continuing fib. Oops. Wouldn't rely on that. Sorry, I just woke up tired today. I know for the people that rewatch, I should probably you know, keep it interesting, go over something. Yeah, 
Yeah, I mean, yesterday's price action, we were just too early on, so we had this range, and we knew this was a trap because we wanted to see this look liquidity get taken, but um, you know, I should just start putting my stop losses where I put these these liquidity zones because they always hold pretty fucking good. And anyway, so we did have our long bias because of this beautiful structure right here, textbook, but because of this, we were kind of short. And uh, we got stopped out early going short here for a little loss. And um, it ended up coming up and sweeping this high again before eventually doing exactly what we thought. And now continuation after we sweep, you know, all this range. And the continuation is perfectly aligned with the, the Fibonacci here. Could have hit the fib, enter, enter up these structure to see I'd like something like this or maybe there's something there a lot of people might be playing this zone here it has a little fair value gap doesn't look bad you have your stop loss above this one but honestly you know we have this imbalance here and uh, you know you couldn't have your stops like uh, how you get this one I don't know would it be worth it wait <laughs> I mean, although this thing ain't, ain't the cleanest. There's no fair value gap or anything. It still is pretty. I like how it's, uh, you know, we take out this liquidity here. change of character we were looking for yesterday either that uh, came up faked everyone out that's what a fake out is right there and uh, came back down unfortunately okay that's a pretty huge run but I mean, honestly, though, like, I don't know how much more we have to come down, though. Well, that's probably a trap, you know, but I think that's above structure. I just don't know on the higher time frames, like, uh, where are we going? Well, I mean, if we were to come down here, we got a long way to go, but something tells me something in this zone will hold up. Unless it's a trap, we never broke highs. We broke this though, broke this. Mm. Big fair value gap order block here. People are definitely gonna be looking for the flip of the dollar because we got a lot of downside on the dollar now. We've been coming up for a while.
Or be a trap if it's the first order lock to break I mean, I don't know. I know there's news that could drive this up today, and then, you know, so we could actually hit that order block, but. Uh, liquidity done in balance. If the dollar closes a bullish order block and this closes a bearish, should get this push to break the structure here. But. What's up, man? How you doing? Time to grow. The G, the OG. How you doing, man? Some big steps in your life, bro. It's so cool. Get in the house, man. I can't wait. Can't wait to be there one day in my life as well. Yep, yeah, it looks like we'll get this break here. Possibly. We are in this, uh, I don't know. So maybe a break right here. Retest. We have to watch the liquidation and see if this starts reacting. Uh, you know, the DXY starts reacting here. Let's see if we form any order blocks below this, this structure. But yeah, man. What's up, bro? No, not in any positions. Damn, that's crazy. Didn't you say you're like, you're, you like sold your apartment already or some shit? Like, so you don't even know if you're going to get the house yet, but you sold the apartment. That's fucking, I'll buy another challenge. Yeah, just wait till next week, you know. We'll see. We need to wait for some decent market conditions. I mean, ugh, I don't even want to talk about it. It's so sickening, but. It's so sickening, but bro, I mean, first let's, we could go over this, like I'll show you this, like, you know, the range perfectly. We knew this was a trap uh, yesterday, even though we, uh, you know, we didn't expect this liquidation, but uh, 
we finally got that liquidation and then look at this Fibonacci swing high to swing low perfectly holding the fib levels but um check this out time to grow so I didn't I traded a few days ago I, I as you know on my Instagram I hit this move here and uh, and I, I guess I just deleted the fucking thing but it was you know our stop loss was 100 was 27 100 and as you can see it's completely safe um fucking they didn't stop us out here they stopped us out like it was already like down here like four pips away you know they didn't even stop us out when it was right there and um man bro i was in for a five lot and uh that's not much but when you catch 200 fucking pips bro from the top we would have been passing our challenge today because i had no stop loss and yeah i probably would have gotten out here but you know just they just they, you know it's like how am i supposed to pass a challenge if they take me out of the fucking trade bro and you know it's not the first time like the the first challenge i took with them it was a similar move just like this and um every other prop firm had a wick on their broker a wick that got me into the trade and then top one you know, on fucking top one on this shit just had no wick. It had no wick on the on the candle and didn't get me in. And I would have passed the first one too. So I'm just like really pissed at top one, man. I'm just really done with this shit. Like, you know, I'm, if my Forex funds, you know, all they have to do is, you know, create a little slippage and they fuck over profitable traders. It's like, that's what they're still doing, bro. It's insane. Because four pips... Uh, slippage that's like unacceptable bro oh man we're still bouncing this order block here we held it man it would be so insane to take buys right now though bro without a liquidation you know what will probably happen is like around 8 or 9 we'll get a liquidation it's like I'd always be jumping in here and then get stopped out so like wait for a liquidation and then maybe a push to the upside depends on what the dollar is going to do right now. I'm not even trading my FTMO today. I don't even know why I'm logged on. Yeah, that's sick, bro. No, there's, um... There's a few options in the U.S. right now. Uh, I think the next one I'm going to try is, uh, if I do try one, like, I ra I'd rather just trade a personal at this at this point. But as, as you know, I did have a 10K personal, and I liquidated it for to put it into crypto. Uh, you know, smart choice, too, because, you know, the markets have been unforgiving lately. You know, we've been on a... Not a, a losing streak, but on a losing streak, but we've been basically on a break even streak. Like l losses or fucking break even. As you know, we've we got out of drawdown significantly, but now we put our the last two trades or whatever. We're like fifty bucks here, a hundred fifty or a hundred or something, and then we're back down to nine six. So like we've just been bouncing around break even basically not profitable for this month so it was a good thing that we decided to liquidate it but i definitely want a bigger account though like a bigger personal because trading personal is the way to go man definitely oh man this is crazy even got the reaction on this one i mean i'm not only for four pips the reason we're playing on the one minute time frame is because if we're going to spot a reversal it's going to be on the one minute time frame there's not a lot of uh meat meat for us here on the higher time frame like there's this th zone here i don't know what how, how it's going to react to this zone might be a trap might not be might head up fill fill this imbalance so um and then on euro you know this is the only clean structure this is all i got here you know, like I said, not a lot of meat and potatoes here on the higher time frame. So um, that's why we're just jumping down onto the one minute. 
trying to look for a reversal here if we could get a fucking uh, you know get some of our structure here you know we're coming up maybe I want to see a liquidation and then I want to see a fucking order block and bang that's what I want to see but like it's scaring me to enter with no liquidation so that's that's my problem right now But hey, bro, we finally got this um, this higher time frame liquidation that I was always searching for, and that was kind of my take profit too. And it sucks that I couldn't have, couldn't have gotten in any of shorts really that that went there. But yeah, we were marking this zone out for weeks and weeks on stream. We finally got it. Mm -hmm higher time frame I mean we have you know this zone now we got this equal top nice order block we even have some structure here to come and take out and I guess this you know this would be a good point of POI up here eventually if we ever get back up there and like I said what would be great for this Friday is to come up here and uh, change this character for next week so we could go long next week possibly if we come and we break this here. But if we come up and we pit pitter patter here, then you know, I'm just, there's really no trades unfortunately though. Yeah. Yeah, I think a lot of people um, are hoping and waiting for the DXY to lose some steam here and uh, and come down. Cause you know, if we come down and we fucking get this break of structure here, oh my god, we would. In this break, I mean, we could hit some serious fucking longs. But you know, the worst thing to do is trying to time the top. You know, that's the one thing that's killed me in trading when I first started a few years ago and everything is just trying to time the top and bottom of everything perfectly. You guys still see that I do it now. Like, I still get excited thinking that I got the top or bottom. And you just never know. I like this. I've been listening to Jesse Livermore's audiobook. And I like his, his, uh, his quote there. It's like, the first eighth. Don't tr stop trying to catch the first eighth or the last eighth. Those are the most expensive eighths. I'm like, damn, bro. That's like, dude is a legend. That is the smartest shit I've ever heard. The first eighth and the last eighth are the most expensive eighths. And it's true, bro. You know how many times I've been impatient and missed a move that I knew was going to happen because fucking I was just trying to time it perfectly and I got stopped out. It's like, wow, that's insane. That's insane, the guy's a G. Um, we're getting our push up, but like, let's watch this liquidation. Let's see what it does here. Let's see what it does at this one here. So far, we haven't really gotten any good order blocks. This order block was, we s swept this high here. We swept this high. Took out the range. Yeah, it looks like we're just going to continue to the upside, man. That's actually crazy. That would have been a mean, mean long right there. That would have just been too risky for me. Yeah, trying to get the low yesterday, bro. That sucked. But, bro, you're... I mean, that was... 
I mean, everybody was thinking the same thing. I think a lot of people were trying to go long uh, after this liquidation yesterday. I mean, look at this zone holding. So, what we were marking out yesterday on stream, it was all on the one minute. But, um, and Euro was much more harder to, uh, to spot. And I did, I did just delete your change of character that I told you uh, about earlier, but yeah, we came down, we swept, so we were really looking for something, but, uh, because we didn't get this break of structure here, I called this a trap, and, you know, then it fucked with my bias even more, that I was right, it was a trap, and we came down, and then down here, it was just, you know, craziness, craziness, and, um, you know, then I said, when we were down here, before we even pushed up, you know, let's get this change of character, and we did get it, and it even held big order block, but again, just, you know, fake. But, you know, it was enough to push up, stop everybody out in every direction. Like, as you could see, you know, we just we just liquidated this range in both directions. This one was almost sniper of liquidation of that. Um, and then, yeah, but um, I think, like, on the 15 minute, I texted you, and I was like... Um, yeah, right here, I was like, you know, I want to see this change of character, and it's like, dude, this probably faked so many people out, bro, like, when, when this candle closed here, there was probably so many people loading up, and like, you know, with a good change of character, I want to wait, like, for the next candle to close as well, because this is what happens with the, f the fake outs here, and that's when you got stopped out, and that's when I texted you, I was like, bro, I hope you got out, <laughs> But, dude, like, you know, the fucking being on my laptop and not being able to trade off my phone has affected my trading so much. So I know how, like, other people must be feeling, like, like, um, you know, and I thought it would be a good thing. Like, I wouldn't over trade, like, normally I'd over trade a lot, but now I under trade and now I miss my moves and now I miss moves, good moves. Um... And yeah, and you know, what's also hard is like, we're not full-time traders, you know, full-time traders, you know, that could, people that could stare at the charts all day and uh, react to every single move, you know, good for them. But unfortunately, we haven't been able to react to every move and, you know, we just got to hope for our breaks of structure <laughs> and, you know, stuff like that. But sometimes we can't react to every fucking thing. It just sucks, man. That sucks. But, um... You know, we're going to get a fucking another, we're going to get this 100k pass, like, it just sucks, like, that they've been fucking me over, like, this should be a pass challenge right now, and look, now I'm in drawdown, it's like, that's just fucking bullshit, man, yeah. yeah, that manipulation was literally fucking... So the office space, yeah, we're still getting in. We're, um, you know, we're working hard. We're wrapping it up, wrapping up basically the fucking, um, you know, final touches on all the other office spaces. And the carpet guys are coming to put carpet and flooring in on Monday for all the new office spaces. So the, the new, the card guy who's in my office space right now it will be able to move into his new office space. You know, the deadline when we had the other tenant coming in was the 15th, so we would have already been, like, pretty close to, you know. But um, since that tenant, we told him to screw off because he pissed everyone off. Fucking, um, now it's extended to, uh, my boss was like, we're just going to give us a cushion, you know, to the end of the month. So it's May 1st, the card guy knows. But if we finish early, you know, he could start moving in whenever the fuck he feels, you know. But the deadline for him is May, so... We'll be in the office by May 1st, but I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I'm obviously going to do like a before and after of what it looks like and probably make a YouTube video about it, get some opinions. But, um, you know, also I might want to renovate it a little like, you know, I don't know how much money right now I have to put in because I also forgot that I fucking I have this money saved and I forgot I also have to buy a car. And uh, I found a car for like 3000 my buddy's selling. And, um, you know, it's more reliable than my car, so I might just buy that for the time being. So I was going to use that money, though, to renovate the office. And uh, so 
Instead, I might just put paint on the walls and then a desk for now. But, you know, the painting will take a day or two, so. You know, but by May, though. But, yeah, I've been watching YouTube videos, like, fucking going over, uh, going over, like, what I want to do, man. There's a lot of fucking dream office. You know, this stuff looks really cool. I, I was thinking, like, uh, this guy's, like, doing this, but maybe with a lighter, all seems a lighter it's color in the wall. It's time to use it. With USAA, it's easy to file. This is Chris. And Chris is, like, million. how you... You know, that looks fucking sick, bro. Maybe getting this wood. This wood on the wall, and then, like, a simple wood desk like this, and then that's my setup. And then I, I could have some fake plants, bring some life into the room. Then a shelf, maybe a coffee or something you know there's a few ones um you know i obviously don't have the money to go crazy right now but um you know something simple just a desk for now and then like you know these that cool wood backsplash are kind of like what people are doing if you i was gonna do that or um so where i you know where i live new Paltz, it's a historical huguenot town in any anyway and um and um, my um, my boss, these buildings that we have offices in, you know, it's like his grandmother's house and then this, you know, renovated a barn. And his grandmother's house is on Main Street. It's a big brick house. It was built in the 1800s, so it's a Victorian. And his dad's house is also, like, built way back when, big Victorian. So there's all this antique furniture and shit that's sitting in storages, um, like, around the property, like... Uh, in garages, and, you know, so, Dark Academia, or, you know, Dark Academia, Dark Academia setup, like, I really like that too, but it's almost like you gotta fucking have a little bit more money, almost, like, this one's sick, um, you know, but, yeah, like, it's hard, it's hard to do right too, but I, I really like Dark Academia too. Like, that looks really sick. Uh, yeah. Like, this was pretty. This was I a have sick made video. a lot of Dark Academia. Like, these color palettes and stuff. Oh, yeah, like Some that examples. shit. That's so sick. But, man, that, I don't know how. Like, I think the modern one is probably safer to go with, you know? My, my mom grows plants on the windowsill, so she's like that, like my mom, if you go in my mom, upstairs in my mom's house, fucking, um, it's like all these plants, like she's got giant aloe plants that have been growing for years, she's got all these little, like trees that look like miniature trees that are real, it's fucking insane, it's like a wizard, um, yeah, yeah, I like the first one. I'm leaning towards that. I'm leaning towards the first office. Uh, like that modern, that modern look, that modern setup. That'd be sick. And I do have one window in my office space, so it's gonna be pretty. It's pretty sick. Get some natural lighting in there. Otherwise, we need to make some fucking money this year. Um, crypto. Oops, what am I doing? Oh my god, what am I doing? Crypto. Uh, what am I doing? Derp. I'm not even on my Coinbase right now. There's no point in taking a look, freaking you guys all out. <sighs> yeah. We're in a little bit of drawdown. Nothing. Oh, shit. Look at that. <laughs> right when I was like, yo, it's looking good. It's looking good. We're bouncing the uh, resistance. Uh, you know, we're in a little bit of drawdown. Nothing crazy. Only like 20% on a $20,000 position. Nothing crazy. And then, um, 
which obviously none of the zones we held, we thought we're going to hold held. But, you know, it's crypto investing. We're not like Forex traders here and getting stopped out and losing our account. We're, uh, we're in it to win it. We're in it for the long haul. So hopefully we bounce this resistance and head up to our break even here and uh, head past it even. Come on, I want to see this break here. And, uh, yeah. Every pair kind of doing the same thing, bouncing around our resistance zones. You know, we win some, we lose some. We hit beautiful trades on every pair, basically. Fucking sniper entries. Uh, it took a little while to play out. And then Algorand, I mean, CeeLo as well. Um, you know, we were... Dude, I should have got out at a little loss here. But, you know, same thing, 20%. <sighs> Nothing I'm not used to with crypto. You know, I've been through... Oh my god, don't even talk about it. But, you know... Time to grow, I already know, so preaching to the choir. But, um, yeah. It'd be nice to have some money. I should have cashed out that 3K when we were at 23K. I was really debating it. Would have paid for the office space already. Like, I already have the money for the office space, but, um, you know, it would have been nice to. Would have been nice to put in the bank account. I just owed the state $600 on my taxes this year. I don't know how. You know, I put in all my investment information, uh, I put in my work information, like my W-2s, and, um, you know, they were, I was like, all good, like, set to get some money, and then I put in my investment information, and they're like, no, you need to give us some fucking money, and I'm like, ah, oh, fuck, so I took a hit there, a little bit, a little $600 hit, and nothing exciting for the markets today, I think I, we can expect a push down now. But let's watch how it how it fills this imbalance here. Let's see how it closes. Also, want to see how the DXY respects uh, if it respects this order block this high here. I don't think so. I mean, this one minute play, you know, it looks nice. Although it's just probably, um, you know, too preemy, I don't know. Might be too premature. It'd be fun to take, though. Maybe we'll take it on a little. My only problem is with it is, you know, obviously this right here. We have structure here. <sighs> I feel like uh, we should look for a s the sweep first. You know, if we have a 10 pip stop, we have plenty of pl plenty of room to play here. Because we are in the one minute, we do get nice room to play, but it could be a nice one-to-one, -to -one too, if we come up and break this, these little highs we just made. I'm definitely liking a reversal for today, though, because as you can see, you know, we just created, like, it's still respecting kind of this trend line liquidity here. You know, we just kind of made even a bigger bucket here. You know, so if we come down and we get, um, you know, we want to see something like that, but, dude, very, very premature. But yeah, what's up, guys? Okay. Oh, man. Man, man. What's been up time to grow? Are you still coming to New York? What are you going to do in New York? Are you going to like Manhattan, Williamsburg, Chinatown? You're just going to try to explore all of New York, everything you can see. Do you have like family here? Or do you like first time you just want to see the city? New York is a place of its own. Shit us. I remember you know, I didn't really go to the city much. My parents don't go out to the city. My parents don't even leave the county. But, um... Yeah, that's not true. They actually do a lot, but... Um, you know, I didn't go to the city till I was, like, older. till I was, like, in high school, really. And, um... Man, what a wild place the city is, dude. You could just... I remember being in high school and, like, weed was still legal at the time and, like... 
it's just such a wild place that you just smoke right in front of the cops. They just don't even care because they just got other bigger shit to do. And it's like, I always used to think this being from the country, like the city would be so strict, like, you know, everyone watching you all the time. And it is kind of like that. You know, we did get followed by NYPD at certain times, but like, it was, um, it was like really fucking fucking wild experience in high school. It was fun. We would just go drive around, basically. Drive around, go to Times Square, walk around, fucking smoke, hit up some shops. The one time we actually went to go meet this this guy who was like a presidential candidate. It was pretty fun. We met him at like, um, in the back room of this restaurant, actually, because he had it like privately res- reserved and it was like anyone could show up and like only a few people showed up. <laughs> It was pretty funny. It just gave us an excuse to be in the city, really. It was fucking... It was a fun time. The city's a wild... The city's a wild place, bro. And then we went there for, like, Christmas. I went there with my girlfriend and my buddy that I always travel with. My boys from high school. And, dude, during Christmas time, it's shoulder to shoulder there. Man, it's fucking... You're like this shoulder to shoulder walking by. It's fucking, it's brutal Christmas time. Oh, the helicopter ride, the $250 helicopter ride or whatever it is, 450 Dude, that would be, I need to see some pictures from that. That would be fucking insane, bro. Someone at my jujitsu gym was just fucking talking about the helicopter ride across the city, bro. Or someone, someone I was just at. Dude, that's fucking that's that's a sick fucking helicopter ride bro that's i couldn't imagine seeing the city from that angle bro you're gonna be able to see like like i i mean i've seen the i i'm into photography so i used to watch all the street photography of new york city and like wow you're gonna be able to see like the outline of central park it's fucking that shit's nuts dude central park um me and my girlfriend went to the museum of natural history you know, Night of the Museum, I don't know if you've seen that movie, it's like pretty famous over here, but, you know, the museum is completely ruined now for reasons we won't get into, but, um, you know, we went there and we got off um, Grand Grand Central Station, like, you you gotta see Grand Central Station, bro, like, you have to see it, it's like definitely a wonder of the world, bro, it's fucking, it's so nuts, Grand Central Station, that's why I always take the train to the city, because fucking when you get off at grand central it's just so sick fucking you come up the stairs into the big dome and then uh we walk from grand central actually through uh you know central park which um you know grand central is at one side of it and the fucking museum is at the other so we had to walk the whole length even diagonally and I couldn't fathom how big it was, like, really, you can't, like, it's fucking, like, what the fuck, it took us, like, 45 minutes, like, to an hour, just to walk from one end of Central Park to the other, I was like, what the fuck, I had no idea it was like that, it was, like, that big, fucking, it's nuts, dude, right in the middle of that bustling city, and then, and then, um, last year, I was working for a company, Renewal by Anderson, it's, like, a window company, and fucking, they were like fucking us about, dude. My boss was so chill. We were so lit. So, fucking, my boss Frankie, fucking Frankie, you know, was like a city boy, not a city boy, but you know, he knows the city. So he took us down there for lunch, you know, and we stopped by and got some stuff. Fucking went to Chinatown, man. Ate lunch. Fucking went to Williamsburg. Fucking went to Little Italy. You know, he just took us around. You know, walk around the whole day buying shit. Dude, fucking Chinatown, it's insane, bro, it's insane, Chinatown, fucking, uh, Williamsburg, Chinatown, Little Italy, that whole mix there, dude, you gotta check it out, it's so fucking sick, Williamsburg, Chinatown, oh yeah, more majestic than Paris, probably for sure, like, yeah, I mean, I don't wanna, I, I don't know, a lot of people tell me, like, Paris, it's, like, not all it's cracked up to be, you know, like, you know, maybe in the 40s or 30s or fucking 20s or whatever the fuck, <laughs> maybe not the 40s, you know what I mean, for certain people, <laughs> but, you know, fucking, 
you know, people just say, like, it's not, like, what it's cracked up to be, you know, but, yeah, fucking, you know, that's just how it is, you know, for me, the city's, like, yeah, whatever, for me, you know, I'd rather probably go to Paris than the city, but, <laughs> you know, but, the like, um, just New York City, there's definitely, I could tell you without a doubt, there is no city on earth that's like New York City. You go to Chinatown, it's like you're literally fucking in China. It's fucking insane. Like, there's, you know, there's just street vendors on the sidewalk, and, like, that's a big no-no, but, like, they just do it. They don't give a fuck. Street vendors with fruit fucking all on the fucking sidewalk. Little Italy, there's restaurants on the sidewalk. Like, I'm sure it's like that in Paris, but, like, they have, like, little restaurants on the sidewalk. Fucking, you know, it's just, it's fucking, it's fucking nuts. And then, like, the Williamsburg is, like, the art scene, the liberals, hippies, fucking, those kids at NYP, you know, New York schools, you know, very fashionable, you know, very hip. Fucking, um... Like, the waterfront there by the Williamsburg Bridge. Dude, so sick. And just all the monuments and buildings, you could see, like, the the architecture is so much different than Paris and Europe. I, I could just, just from pictures, I could tell that. I forgot the architecture style you guys have. Um, it's like the, you know, a lot of the buildings are the same. They're set up the same. I really love the architecture style, though. Like, it's beautiful. I wish we kept some of that. Like, I hate the modern glass shit. Like, fuck off with that shit, bro. Fucking. But some of the New York shit, like, the old shit, very fucking occult-like, fucking very, like, symbolism. Like, the buildings are fucking... The old brick ones, the concrete ones, like, dude, nothing compares to some of these buildings in the city, bro. It is so fucking sick. I love the city, bro. Like, I hate the city, and I hate fucking city people sometimes, but fucking, I love the city, bro, the city is such a fucking cool place, if I had like a million, if I was a multi-millionaire, I, I would, I would have a place in the city, fucking, and try to fucking, you know, I, I swear to God, I'd have a place in the city just to go chill, because the city is sick, I love the city, we are getting a reaction now, off this uh, imbalance here. So that's that's interesting. At the same time, we get a reaction off this imbalance. It looks like we're gonna head down. So that's fucking weird. Markets have just been. Uh, everyone knows it. Liquidation, fake outs. It's just been everything's been a fake out or a liquidation. Or it's just fucking. How do we even play these markets, man? It's insane. How do we play? Them? Yeah, maybe one day the city, have a place in the city, dude, places in the st city, like, they start at millions, like, if you were to actually own it, it's just not for me, I, like, my goal in life is to fucking have, like, a uh, hundred acres somewhere, like, half in the woods, half farmland, or, like, f you know, have a, a river through my property, or, like, or live on the ocean, like, ocean from property, like, chill oceanfront property, not bougie oceanfront property, like, or have it all, but, like, eventually, like, you know, my goal would have to, to be, have, like, you know, some acres, a nice house, like, maybe a Victorian, or, like, you know, just a nice sized house out in the country, basically, like, what you're, you're getting, just, like, Americanize it, you know, like, give it lots of acres, fucking, for shooting, and fucking hunting, and fucking doing all the outdoor shit, like, you know, driving four-wheelers around and fucking, you know, just having freedom to do whatever you want to fucking do. Uh, that would be so sick, man. Out in the country, few neighbors, few neighbors. I could grow fucking plants, fucking, you know, have a nice garden, fucking grow all your, your own fruits and vegetables, raise your chickens. Bro, just live like it's the fucking olden days. Uh... We got the re rejection, but, like, look, we got to wait. We got to wait still. We got to see a break. Because we might come up, fake people out, and come down at the same time we're getting this liquidation, and then we come up. 
or we could just bust through this and we're just gonna bust down. It's like, yeah, man, it's fucking... Everything's been reacting so weird. So like we did, we're calling this here. It's like we wanted to see this get liquidated, then we come down. I'm like, where's the change of character though? I can't. I don't think this is a change of character. I don't think I could call it a change of character. Uh, but I definitely think, you know, we just liquidated some, some people, early people here. And now, like, same thing as yesterday, we just have range. that got manipulated manipulated now we're getting manipulated and now we just have to decide our bias I guess you know yesterday or you know I'll do it on a cleaner pair show it on a cleaner pair but yesterday same thing manipulate range and then we need to choose our bias yesterday was way cleaner today is like I don't know you know, this is a small range. This was a huge range. This is just a small range, so, you know. But same concept and I don't know, swing high to swing low with the Fibonacci, I don't know. But wow, we could have just been in this, bro. We could have just been in this. We'll wait to see. It looks like the dollar is going to keep pushing up. Now we're, we want to see this break of structure here. Oops. I mean, let's keep this just in case we we do just liquidate this, but that's too small of a thing. I'll lose that. Mm -mm 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 <laughs> French Canadian, yeah, I can see you moving to Canada. I went to uh, the St. Lawrence River one time for a vacation. Some of my family has a little trailer out there on the river, and um, dude, it was it was sick. And you know, there was a lot of French people there. We'd park our boat. You know, there was this big castle. You know, there's thousands of islands uh, on the St. Lawrence River. And, you know, there was a lot of French people there. That was my first, actually, time meeting French people. Um, yeah, your dad, your, your grandpa. Man, that's sick. That's sick. I don't know how it's, how, like, the gun laws over there are in France. Like, I didn't know you guys were even allowed to have, like, I mean, I think, yeah, you guys get, like, old-fashioned shotguns and, like, hunting rifles, right? It's fucking sick, I'm sure. Some old people somewhere, like your grandpa, are hiding some fucking old, uh, you know, r revolutionary fucking, uh, what's the word, fucking, uh, and there was the fucking rebellion against the Nazis when they were there. Fucking, it's probably crazy, probably hiding a whole bunch of shit. Yeah, Winchester, dude, that's sick. That's fucking sick, bro. Yeah, and, like, there's, um, you know, there's a big hunting culture out there in Europe, right? I don't really hunt that much, but, you know, I'm just fucking, I do go shooting, you know, and everything. I, I like that. Like, I like guns. I like shooting. I like the outdoors. You know, I'm a redneck from the country, but, yeah, I know you guys like fox hunting, duck hunting, right? All that shit. It's fucking, that's cool. Yeah, that's fucking, that's cool, man. It's always good like that, you know. We got to keep that tradition of um, people passing stuff down like that, like the older men passing stuff down to the younger men, teaching them the ways.
Yeah, now you're out in the country too, bro. You could pass that down to your son if, if you have one or whatever. I don't even know if you have any kids, bro. I don't even know your real name, bro. What is even your real name? <laughs> I feel like <laughs> fucked up. I'm just like, yeah, time to grow. Time to grow, yeah, man. Time to grow, yeah. It's like never even ask for your name. Maybe you don't want to say it. It's fine. I don't care. Fucking. Maybe I won't even be able to pronounce it anyway. Some shit like that. <laughs> Uh, yeah, fucking. Now that's cool. And now you're out in the country, bro. You can teach your son how to, like, you know, go out. Fucking. That's really cool. Or your, or your daughter, too. Like, I'm having a daughter this year. In a few months, actually. Two to three more months. Be having a daughter. And I already have a son. Yeah, my dad was more of a fisher. He's more of a fisher. Although, I have a lot of hunters in my family, man. A lot of hunters. My one uncle, he pretty much only exclusively hunts and eats what he hunts and shit. Still to this day, you know. Fucking old deer hunter. You guys got wild, you guys got wild boar in France? What? You guys got, like, the Texas wild boar. How do they do... Do you guys have problems with their population or something? Or is it because it's too small of a place, like, they can't get very big? Because, like, yo, the boar in America, it's a huge problem, bro. They're invasive, like, down in Texas. Because Texas is so fucking big, it's like they could just breed, like, fucking... And there's, th there's too many. So, like, dudes are allowed... You could take a trip to Texas and, like, they'll... They'll let you go in a helicopter with a gun and just shoot fucking pigs all day. It's fucking awesome. I want to do it so bad. It looks so fun, bro. It looks so fun. We don't give a fuck about those piggies, so... If anyone's like, all oh, the piggies, bro, we don't care. They're fucking... Yeah, dude, they could kill you. They can maul you to death. A grown man, they can maul you to death. So it's it's scary for kids, bro. They'll kill a kid easy. These fucking bears. I mean, these fucking uh, boars. They're fucking huge. They got giant tusks, bro. And in Texas, they get, I mean, around, you know, they get scary big. They get as big as a fucking, a small car. Break your car. They get as big as a small car. They'll, they'll be like, they'll be the size of a Prius, bro. These fucking boars. It's scary shit. And they're tough motherfuckers. You could shoot them a lot of times and they don't go down, man. They're thick. I know when I had raccoons, when I, I had my, I mean, when I had my raccoons, what the fuck? When I had my chickens, I had chickens in my backyard. We'd take the eggs, get the eggs. You know, not meat chickens, just egg chickens. But I had six of them and they all got killed by raccoons over the, you know, two year period. And I fucking got rid of a lot of raccoons, let's just say, man. And fucking raccoons, they're tough motherfuckers, bro. You could shoot a raccoon fucking three times, it'll still just be fucking trying to live, bro. It's insane. <laughs> so, I couldn't imagine a wild boar, bro. Wild boar, so dangerous, bro. You gotta get rid of them, so. But yeah, do you guys have an, like an overpopulation problem with them, too, there? Because fucking, in America, it's crazy. They fucking... If you want to kill someone, <laughs> someone, no, we don't want to kill anyone here. No, no killing people. <laughs> killing the fucking. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They will, they will kill somebody though. <laughs> and if you, then he's making a joke. If you want to kill, them. <laughs> if you want to dispose of a body, feed them the pigs. Yep, fucking. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, they're dangerous. They're just dangerous fuckers, man. These pigs. Can no sympathy for the wild boars. You should look up the videos in Texas, you know, those fucking old spec ops guys going out with their night vision, fucking ta 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 fucking taking down these pigs. Like that's so sick. So fun. Night vision pig hunting would be so fun, dude. I gotta go to Texas, man. I gotta see more of my country. Like I barely leave New York. Like I went to North Carolina, my family owns property, my one uncle, you know, he's a good business guy, 
I mean, he's good money in business, working class business, and his wife unfortunately took all the properties from him, but I'm still cool with my aunt and, you know, everything, so we went and visited uh, this house in North Carolina, Lake House, and uh, North Carolina was beautiful, and I got to drive through Virginia, West Virginia, um, you know, and it was my first time going uh, down south, even though some people wouldn't consider North Carolina the south. Fucking down there, you know, you need to get down to South Carolina at least. And fucking, um, it was beautiful down there. I love, I love the south. The south is really nice too. The people are really sweet. Very slow. It's not like New York. New York, I felt like a dickhead there. Like, come on, chop, chop. Fucking people there are lottie dottie, bro. Fucking down south. It's like people take it slow. It's not even a joke. Like from the cartoons, it's like people are, people take it fucking slow, bro. This fucking guy was like talking to the cashier while everyone's standing in line for like 30 minutes. I'm like, bro, what the fuck? I'm from New York. You got to be fucking quick, man. I don't got time for your bullshit. I'm in a rush. I got shit to do. Fuck out of here. We gotta lose some money. I'm in a rush to lose money. It just looks like continuation to the downside here, even though the dollar is a nice order block here. Maybe this is the structure we should be looking for here. Yeah, like the part of my country I'd love to see is out west, man, like Montana, Wyoming. I, it looks so beautiful, all the pictures. I could care less about the superficial shit. And like, yeah, everyone everyone needs to see New York City, like, one time. Like, like I said, I love the city. It's always worth seeing, but, like, there's definitely fucking better things. Like, every, every foreigner, they want to go to New York, they want to go to Miami, or they want to go to California. And it's like, bro, there's so much better shit than fucking those places bro it's like i'd be looking at like somewhere like fucking uh out west bro like fucking man it's so beautiful like i went to florida for to disneyland back when i was a kid florida's beautiful florida florida is beautiful but you know the areas on the coast very superficial it's like anywhere else on the coast fucking you know you just got motels lambos fucking all that bullshit fucking uh but like the everglades and stuff and all the wildlife and the beach itself beautiful my grandpa my real grandfather who's still alive my only living grandfather um he owned he owned a house on the last key of key west he could literally pit, take a piss out his front door into the water manatees stingrays everything and he sold it, and I never got the chance to see it or go down there. He sold it when I was younger. That blows. I still wish he didn't because I still want to see that part of the Florida Keys and everything. But, yeah. But, yeah, fucking... So un unfortunate? No, 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 no. No, the fucking... Oh, you mean, unfortunately, he sold it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought you meant, like, unfortunate. I was calling New York City and then these places superficial. No, no, no. Like, the city, dude, you're gonna fucking have a great time. The city is fucking worse, worth seeing. The city is so sick. It's definitely not gonna be, like, a European city at all. You're gonna be mind-blown. But, yes, for me, I want to see the West, man. Out West. We might be getting a change of character here. Or just a liquidation. It depends on what's going on. This is exactly kind of like what I would want to see under this range. Do we have news at 8.30 today? No, right? It's at 10 o'clock. I think. Hey, Henry boy. What? Good morning. A little import prices. <laughs> you tired, but cookies. no cookies. We're not eating cookies. Look at that smile. That woke you up, huh? 
No cookies in the morning. You gotta have breakfast. Damn, look at how look how hard the markets are to call like right now. Like look at this. How do you call this? <laughs> it's like the, the DXY liquidates be all fake out bull crap. This is like it's it's so insane. It's so insane. Like you would just have to go on intuition. Like it's Yeah, say hello. Hello. Say hello, Mr. Henry. Get that stinky passy out your mouth. Get that stinky passy out your mouth. Henry's always like under the f under the screen. Look at you, chunk a monk. Who's that? Itchy leggy. Who's that? Is that Henry? Itchy leggy. Itchy leg. Got itchy leg. Dada too. Dada too. Dada is not making any money lately. What's going on? He needs to make some money. It's been weeks. It's been weeks without a good good money hit here. Need my dopamine up. Need to get my dopamine up, man. You know, and of course, you know this whole meta trader thing has affected my trading so much because it's like what if we get this liquidation while i'm at work and then we get the change of character i want and i can't enter like so it's affected my my whole my whole um statistics you know everything is is messed up right now it's just so messed up that's why i'm really waiting to trade this ftmo till i get my office and maybe it won't make a difference but you know if i'm on the charts till 11 12 then you know i'm gonna have more time to be able to place the trades i want to place because that that does happen a lot of the time is i'm at work and i just can't place a trade that i want to place it's unfortunate but <laughs> no cookies no cookies cookies he sees the Oreos that are over here from last night. You're not getting any in the morning where you have breakfast. <laughs> we got a lot of breakfast in the morning. We got some bananas maybe. Cookie. No cookie. Cookie look. Cookie look. Nope, it's bad for you in the morning. You can't have. Cookie and milk. No, no. Jesus, man. Crypto is really... Really unfortunate. It looks almost like we're gonna come down to my my uh, original entry here. If we come down to eleven, oh no, we got a while, but we could definitely come down here today. That's it. Kind of makes it seem like the dollar is gonna push up right now. This is kind of the point right now where it looks like we're gonna the dollar is gonna break above here, and it just from crypto, I get that indication because we're breaking this. Looks like we're gonna head off, fall off a cliff here. And that would indicate the dollar going up today. So just off this bias, that's what. Just off that, that gives me my my daily bias for today. I think I think we're gonna have the dollar push up here because this looks naughty. This looks not good. This looks like we're gonna come down big time here. I don't know, it depends. This is looking charged up. The more this holds here, it's looking, you know, decent, but not any closes like that. We have a little news right now. We'll check. Oh, don't, don't mute daddy like you did that one time. Secretly, he didn't know, talking for a bunch. 
green. Mm. All right, well, we're getting news also simultaneously. We're getting the hit off this order block, and we are seeing a little reaction off of it. <laughs> Looking like a trap to come and take this out, but we'll see. Yeah. Yeah, and that's the other thing. Like, news is at 10 o'clock. I can't even trade the fucking news right now. <sighs> yeah, Australian dollar. We got this, m the break of the range. Yeah, looks like we're just going to head to the downside right now. Looks like the dollar will continue to the upside today. Let's see what the news, uh... No, Grandma. What was I supposed to look at? Oh, the news. I forgot. Papa. Oh. Papa. Papa, Papa, Papa. What did that say? Why? I just met, misread the crap I out of that. Oh, we got a little bit better than normal. Yeah, oh, 04. We got better than last time, so it is is greater than last time. Oh wait, what? The previous is point oh eight, so it wasn't greater than last time for the dollar. Import prices previous oh eight, and we want greater. Yeah, so it, it's actually less, despite like the previous and the forecast, bro. That's manipulated, bro. That is, they're manipulating the numbers right there. Or wait, actual previous. Oh, the previous of that was eight percent. Okay, I'm retarded. Don't listen to me. I'm stupid. Okay, so yeah, the actual was 3%. So we got a 1% better. Okay, 1% better on the fucking dollar here. Yeah, and it, it looks like it's going to push to the up. Maybe we get a min maybe this will be the manipulation then we get this break. Who knows, but as of right now it looks like not very good. Um this is the 1 minute time frame. Can't even look at less than that. Who knows? Like we are getting a little reaction just um that's okay, not, this is now our order block. We'll see if we if we get this reaction off this order block here. I think it was five minute I'm on. We'll see how it reacts. If it breaks above then you know, definitely look for it. Huh? The sock. Uh, it looks like uh, you know we're, we might be able, might be getting a stop loss hunt right now, depending on the reaction here. And I know I've been like reaction this, reaction that, but I mean like, it's very liquid. This is very hard to call, man. I almost like this how it uh, we're faking people out here, getting a change, change the character a little bit. Euro is holding this, but I I don't know if I'd make a bet on that, man. But anyway, man. Yeah, man. You already know it's 8:30. I was about to say goodbye, but uh, you beat me to it. But yeah, bro. Have a nice day, man. I'll see you later. Um, thanks for stopping by. Time to grow. Appreciate it as always. What a G, what a G. And uh, yeah, guys, peace out. See you guys later. See you guys on Monday.